Hey Cards fans, Barry K with Cards for Days, and today we are going hunting for prospects. We're going to open two blasters today. Uh, the one on the left is the brand new Elite Extra Edition from Panini in 2020, and on the right is Panini Prism Draft Picks. Um, this one came out a little earlier. I ordered these, you know, as soon as they came out, and they just arrived, the... Uh, Shipping took a long time, but we're looking for the Silver Prism and the two Retail Green Pulsars. And, uh, yeah, hoping for the, the high draft picks, Spencer, Spencer Torkelson, Heston Kerstad, etc. Let's go ahead and get this one ripped open. I feel like people have seen these now out and about. I was hoping to get them as soon as they came out, but with the holidays being what they were and the post office being what it was, uh, we are just now getting them, so... Uh, chances are you've seen this product already, but this is going to be my first look at it. And you can see here we've got two, four, six packs, so a ton of cards. This box here is really hit focused. Uh, there are five cards in a box, but there are two guaranteed memorabilia cards. So a little bit of a different product. This one we're looking for base you know, pretty good base cards to go along with possible hits. So we have Justin Lang, Anthony Walters, and our first green pulsar is Garrett Mitchell, the Power Surge. Uh, and these are, are not numbered, but still very cool looking cards. The Robert Hassel Thunderstruck, that's a good one. Good prospect, Robert Hassel. Seems like it's r prime for an auto right there. And a Milan Tolentino. Rounding out that pack. Pack number two. Got Casey Schmidt. And then the Bath Time Bubble Fun, also actually called Donut Circles, of Marco Rea. And that Marco Rea is going to be 35 out of 50. Love the Donut Circle design. Uh, that's a great looking card right there. And then we got a nice one here as a Cubs fan, a green pulsar, Ed Howard. So cool Ed Howard hit for me. A uh, first round draft pick, Pete Crow Armstrong for the Mets. Nice fireworks design and a Gus Steiger. Gus Steiger. All right. Really love Prism. Of course, with baseball, it's not as popular as football and basketball, but... There we have a Nick Gonzalez for the Pirates. Nice high draft pick. And we got a backwards card, so let's see what we've got. Jeff Hackinson from Central Florida. Eric Ors. And a Power Surge, Spencer Torkelson. There we go. Obviously that first number one pick, Spencer Torkelson. Nice hit there. And let's see what our hit is, or if it is a hit. PDP 67, Nick Swiney, 3 out of 25. So another donut circle and a low, low number of out of 25. When it comes to Prism, the rainbows are awesome, but they are overwhelming. So much so that I wouldn't even dream of trying to get a rainbow. Uh, it just would be way too much to try to get. There's a Jackson Miller. And we are getting all kinds of green waves here. Jeff Hackinson again. This one, is that the same one we got before? Uh, yes. So you can see there, we're getting literally doubles of the same card. Although this one is different. That is a different kind of refractor than that one. Very interesting. Let's take a look at that. Prism, prism. The design is different. This one has like the X-Fractor design to it. This one has like a disco ball. That shows up pretty good on camera. So pay attention. There are just different refractor types. And a Trey Cruz. Jack Blomgren and Dane Acker. And we still have two packs to go. We got numbered cards. We got Spencer Torkelson. We got some a Cub hit for me. Carson Tucker. Eric Ors, and that is the prism of Eric Ors. Colton Keith. 
LJ Jones the fourth Thunderstruck and a Luke Little. I prefer the action photos versus the posed photos on my prism. There is Joey Bart. Obviously, Joey Bart is a good prospect. Aaron Sabato with the disco looking refractor. A Jordan Westberg. There's Ed Howard for my Cubs and Levi Thomas. So not bad, a couple Ed Howards um, and a numbered. So we got the Spencer Torkelson and then this numbered Nick Swiney. So not a bad little box right there. And now it's time to search hits. So two autographs or memorabilia cards per box, five cards per box. They just stick it in this giant blaster so that they can charge a certain amount, but that is what you get right there. So hopefully we're going to get something big. The checklist on these is pretty big. There are 200 cards in the base checklist, so the odds of getting a Spencer Torkelson, not very good when you're only getting five cards, so keep that in mind. Uh, I'm anticipating there being a lot of players we've not heard of, but we will see. So first up, we've got a Brandon Pfott. Okay, and notice it's pink. That is, must be the base kind, but there are three different levels. There's A, B, and C. So for example, oh, what is that? A Felnin Kelliston Dominican Prospect League. That is numbered 35 out of 249. Um, Felnin Kesselston. Kelliston, numbered, and that's a purple. We got these pinks, and you can see just this one has black. So let's take a look at the back and see if it tells us A, B, or C. I don't think so, but Brandon Fott. There's a Juan Sanchez. We're not going to be able to hide the next card. It is Fran Aldui, and that is numbered out of 199. Nice relic card, 46 out of 199. Must be an orange variation. And then we've got backwards, Bobby Miller. And that is a Contenders style auto. University of Louisville, Bobby Miller. So check that out. Again, there are obviously some great hits available in draft. Uh in the Elite Extra Edition, but because of the huge checklist, uh, it's not uh, it's not going to be an easy pull. But they are there if you want, you know, your top autos. They're in here, um, but no guarantees. So I'd say we've got a pretty nice box though in terms of numbered, a numbered relic, an auto, and just a numbered purple variation. So. That is our prospect hunting. We did not do too bad. Obviously, with these names, we're going to have to wait and see how they turn out. Um, but that is 2020 Panini Elite Extra Edition. Uh, and just to give you an idea of how long you might have to wait, I mean, here's a box of 2011 that has, you know, Javi Baez, Francisco Lindor. They had rookies in 2015. So a four-year gap. We might have to wait on some of the cards that we pulled tonight. But that's kind of what prospect hunting is all about. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have opened any of these or if there are some prospects that you are looking for. It's uh, always good to share your knowledge. I am very unknowledgeable at this point about these prospects, but I hope to learn more as uh, new stuff gets uh, released and they get more and more cards. So we will open one of these eventually because I'm really curious to see what's in there. But other than that, you guys all have a great weekend. Uh, we will see you again soon. Take care.